What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make an outdoor picnic table with a fire pit in the middle. Let's get started. First we want to mark all our measurements on the wood. I do want to know how all the measurements are in 30 seconds of an inch and you can find them in the description below. Now it's time to do the cutting. I'm using a miter saw, but a circle saw is fine as well. Here I'm marking all the angles with a steel protractor and this is going to make the job a lot easier and you can find it at any hardware store. I like to make this cheat sheet when I work on projects and it has the measurement with a little box to the left. Just make a check mark when you're done cutting the set. I took this shot before I cut the angles, but this is what it should look like once you're done. I put the measurements on top so it doesn't get confusing. Grab the drill and the 5 16th inch drill bit and let's get started on the legs. Now to do the legs, we're going to need two 16, 29 over 30 seconds of an inch and two 11, 21 over 30 seconds of an inch at 65.5 degrees. And we're going to sandwich these together like so. Then we're going to drill the 5 16 inch drill bit through the middle and secure the legs with bolts and nuts. Here we're going to add two 63 inch boards towards the bottom of the legs. You want it to be two inches off the ground so I cut two 2x4s two at two inches and place it on each side to hold it in place. And then we're going to sandwich these like we did the legs. There's going to be a lot of sandwiching in this project. And then you want to secure them with nuts and bolts and do it to the other side as well.
I inserted these bolts on the wrong side. You want to insert them from the outer side of the picnic table. That way you won't be able to see the nuts. And I fixed that off camera. Next we're going to do the legs for the table. You want to take 236 12 over 30 seconds of an inch and you want to measure from the top left 13 3 over 30 seconds of an inch and the bottom left 16 21 over 30 seconds of an inch and for the right side you want to do the opposite and mark the measurements. We're going to cut two thirds deep and to do that I did about a thousand repetitive cuts. I did that to the other leg as well. Then you can connect it together, push it in, and secure it with one and one fourth inch screws. Now we want to slide it in between the two horizontal boards, making sure it's even on both sides and make sure it lines against the bottom of the horizontal 2x4 and not touching the floor. You can use the same 2x4s that we cut out earlier to slide underneath just to be sure. Next create pocket holes on the 48 3 over 30 seconds of an inch. Now we're going to take that board and align it in the middle here and secure it in place with two and a half inch pocket screws. Now we're going to take the 11, 21 over 30 seconds of an inch board with a 45 degree angle and we're going to add pocket holes to those and secure it to the 77, 5 over 30 seconds of an inch board with 45 degree angles as well. I'm going to do this for both the bench tops and the tabletop as well. 
for the tabletop, you will need the 77 5 over 30 seconds of an inch and the 28 3 over 30 seconds of an inch. Here I screwed them in already with two and a half inch screws and I also added a 68 31 over 30 seconds of an inch to the middle and secured that as well on both sides. Here I'm adding the 48 inch boards and I'm placing them about six and a half inches apart and you want to screw these in about two millimeters under because we're going to put the fire pit on top and that way when we put the final boards on top it can be level. Now you want to attach the 36 inch boards to the 48 inch boards at a 90 degree angle on both sides. We're going to secure the first two boards on each side permanently and the three in the middle we're going to put one screw and take it out later. I'll show you why in a minute. Place the fire pit on the tabletop. Make sure you line it in the middle and trace just the sides. You want the line to go across the three boards. Then get two 2x4s and secure that into the three middle boards. 
then remove those temporary screws. I flipped the boards over and now I'm using a router tool with a straight bit to carve the wood so I can put the braces. I cut the board off camera and then I put it back to the table and secured it permanently. Now you want to get a one and one half inch drill bit and drill right through the center. I'm adding two braces to the sides in case it gets windy so the fire won't burn the sides of the wood. I'm adding Teflon tape to all the fittings and use adhesive caulk to secure the fireplace. Now you can add the fire rocks or fire glass, whatever you have in hand. Last step is to sand over the edges with a roundover bit and give it a good sanding. And here's the final product. Hope you enjoyed this video guys, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.